so I just lost Tony phone privileges. You caressed my phone. It was the most sensual thing I've seen all fucking day, and it bothered me. You're the one who asked me to squeeze it. I say weird things! And when I'm not allowed? That was doing a weird thing. Oh my word. I don't do weird things. Uh, I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. <laughs> it must be nothing. Oh. Oh, well, I guess, I guess we finished our fucking day right there. Yeah. Brian told me to give you this. 500 extra dollars. That's pretty cool. I, li I like that. That's that's fun. Yeah. Okay, we can't spend money. We gotta save the eight thou. Okay. Yeah. We got four days. Yeah, I gotta save money. Tony! Just, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The Alex figurine was let's, calling to Let's me. read the fucking news or whatever bullshit. Oh, man. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Now it's putting quotation marks around four. It always has. I didn't know that. Four, I need some me time. Use the bathroom. <laughs> That's what the cat sounds like. That's a cat noise. <gasps> <gasps> Kiramiki. Oh, oh, I think it's just this single thing. Uh, every now and then, uh, hold on. Why was Kiramiki's voice? Also just kind of high, I think. Yeah. Every now and then, I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago and directly being thrown in this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all possible feelings, and my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people, places, because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my songs. Cute. It is cute. I think that's it. Yep. I think that's the only new one. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and let's go ch check out Danger Dangerous Opinions. Uh-huh. Nano camo underwear? I think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. They will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. It's going to get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it will be that fast. Yeah, I think I'll just wait until it's modded for custom skins. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health? No, that's just a meme. My walls are made of that thing and I'm alright. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm going to marry Camotan. I, we now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love the future? I wonder if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practice. Oh, I would if they weren't such an asshole with their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Good. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, is this? This is old, right? Well, um, I'm not sure. Let's look at it. Oh, shit. Explosion register. No, we've read this one. Oh, shit. Let's read the fourth one. Uh, I can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's also yeah. okay. All right, all right. Cool. Have we been reading the same thing multiple times? No, a we bunch? haven't. Okay, thank God. I'm pretty sure these are all new, though. These are all new. Men prefer Christmas cakes. Study reveals. For the <laughs> longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above were regarded as undesirable. Ugh. Just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 25th. Ew. Jesus Christ. Price. God damn it, man. Mm, I don't know if I want to read this. I... What? What? Wait, we were interviewed, though. That doesn't mean us, necessarily. It probably means us. Uh, maybe. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best. Was that really us? That can't have been us. But it must have been us. Uh, AM Township 64 announced new waifu machine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Sukaban no. Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus game console. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, uh, and Monster Companion. Uh, We're going for the weeb audience, said Kiririn51, a Sukaban Soft janitor. <laughs> What's dignity anymore? Sukaban Soft plans to launch the AM Townships in some time next year. They interviewed the janitor! I know, also they're poking fun at their own company because Sukaban Games. Oh. 
The EKDV1A6 gets historic update. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware upper date, uh, upper date upper that date. Uh, uh, McKee's heavy industry. Maca. <laughs> what? Makise? Makise. Makise. God, yeah. I'm so. I, I only speak English and it's sometimes a problem. Uh, right now, over a firmware update that uh, Makise Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV 1A6 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon the use of nano camouflage and the option to customize their look for free with the help of the nano camo app. We've been using nano camo in the battlefield for a year now, Makise's chairperson told the augmented eye during a phone conversation. And thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemy using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano camo. The nano camo update will be released oh, later yes, this month. The invisible guns. Perfect. Four says, You like guns? Nah, I don't need a penis that badly. <laughs> oh! Nice. Oh! Sick burn, Jill. Alright, let's go to work. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. December 20th. Good evening. I could really go for a cake. Ah, hello, Jill. In that cage? I, um, brought my cat. Your cat? Did I hear Yasunori Kaido was in the bar? Bring me that bastard! I'll give him the fist of justice! I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake! I'll borrow his cap! Wait, there are no evil Omni Yuji here. That was surprisingly good. Good job, Tony. Thanks, man. Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? Uh, my cat. Cat! Well, that's even better. Hey, four. <laughs> Tony. That's the cat noise. I was reading the cat noise. So cute. I am the cat, obviously. All right, I expect you to make that exact noise. Okay. Why did you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis in here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office? Please? Sure. But he's a bit shy, so... All right, Four. Let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Tony, I'm Four. <laughs> Well, then make the noise. I will make it when he makes it. Mm -hmm. Say, Gil, how do you always come so early? I live close by. In the bar. Really? Yep. Chief got me a small apartment nearby. In the bar. Something about the BTC housing program. Inside the bar. Oh, yeah. I got mine through that, too. Anyways, let's start. Oh, let's pick the songs on the jukebox. The jukebox fever. I want to hear more of those remixes. Do, we have do, two, I believe. Do, do, do. So, Tony, I'm going to challenge you this time. Yes. Don't just go page by page. Just skip around. Get random. Get random songs. All right. But I do want both of That's those. That's fine. All right. Meep. All right. We, we can do that. Oh, Karma Train Dream is a good name. Uh -huh. That's a good name. God, I'm listening to a Dragon Ball podcast right now. No. It's... I love it. Well, I'm sure you I, do. I keep trying to not listen to Dragon Ball. Time to make strings and change lives. But I keep listening to Dragon Ball, watching uh, Dragon Ball, consuming Dragon I can't stop. It's just, a problem. And they're talking about it constantly now. Now I know. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! It's our new employee! Yes! <laughs> uh, Tony, what's your dog voice? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah! I've waited a long time for this. And I just found my dog voice. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up? Uh, um, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you are the part-timer. Yeah. <sighs> Boss, I'm taking my break. <laughs> it's too early. Shit. <sighs> the part-timer is here. Huh, he came early? Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Because look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. 
And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Jesus, Jill. Granted, Shibas could be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyways, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is! Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. <laughs> Just call him Rad Shiba. <laughs> I want to know what his name is. Why Rad Shiba? And what is his name? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. He's also sentient. Thanks. Anyways, he'll mostly help get any orders, bringing clients in and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um, right. I'm dying over here, Mal. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Uh... Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. Oh, fuck. This game was advertised with this dog. Yeah, it was. This was part of the dog. Mm -hmm. Advertised. I'm just using Blended. Two, three. Tony, he did oh. not say big. It's already big. Oh, shit. Also, I just fucked it up. Yeah. Damn it. It's already big, Tony. I think we can serve it big if we want to. Yeah, is but the it's thing. already big is the thing. Uh, but it could be bigger. No, Do you it's have to fine. let it be bigger? Do you it have is to? already bigger. Do you have to let it be bigger. Uh, Isn't it wild that the cranberries existed? I love the cranberries. That's not even true, my dude. Mm. I like some of their stuff. Yeah, call it out. Call it the fuck out. Yeah, that's fine. Here. Wow, this is awful. People actually pay for this shit. Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you to taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Cyfar Toy Company? What? No, don't let me with those herding supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to CIRA. CIRA? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. CIRA is what I love, but damn is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help CIRA be the best it can be. You're somehow becoming more nasally as the dog goes on and less I cool. I know. Wait, how do I become more cool? I, you were trying. This is not what you were doing. Trying to do like a cool, like I'm the dog. Oh, you're right. Also, I'm kind of overwhelmed right now just thinking about how much I love dogs. Oh, no, Tony. I love dogs It's so, so funny much. because Tony does not give a shit about my cats. I couldn't give a flying fuck no. about cats. Uh, but I love dogs so much. But, they're so And cute. they're, like, incapacitated by dogs, like, constantly. The other day... I've, I've come close to doing this before, but like two days ago, I was walking like just down the street and this person had this like kind of grayish, brownish, like husky, tiny, tiny-ish husky, like a medium-sized dog. It was a really weird looking dog. And I, I, I didn't even say anything else to him beforehand. I, to the owner, I just said, I will die for your dog. I said it, I said that to him. And he was just like, oh, <laughs> thanks. And I left. I walked on because I would die for that dog, Mal. <sighs> I'm really surprised the owner didn't have something more clever in the bank for that. Surely he hears it as someone who has a dog fairly frequently. I think more people have a little bit better restraint than I do. Maybe. Mm, yeah. <sighs> okay. Sorry. We're back to the game, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pay treatment for hurt dogs. Give food to the hungry ones. Play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Yeah, there you go. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Say, do you have a menu? Uh, something like that, yeah. Here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Uh, coming right up. 
dog now wants a fluffy dream. Well, I heard you uh, <laughs> trying to talk cool for a second there. And succeeding. I did? did? Yeah, I heard it in your voice. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get this dog fucking. No! We're just gonna get this fucking dog. He's at his job! Fucking wasted! He's at, oh, he's at work right I love now. it! Fluffy dream. Well, this one's nice. So, why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to my home, so I can get here by walking. Ooh, he loves to go walkie. I do love me some <laughs> yeah. walks. I could walk all day. Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. <laughs> Why did you pick a bar? Um, on a whim too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh, yeah. About the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it... Hey, it's a cat! A cat! Hey, Four, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat. Want to play? Let's play! Mm. Now make the noise! Didn't dogs hate cats or something? Didn't make the noise. We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was Four? Hello, Four! Let's play! Mal. No playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to boss office. That's one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh? All right. <sighs> I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. I feel the same way. Hello, Jill! Eh? Th that voice. S eh? Whoa! Well, what happened to you? Well, say is ripped. Nice seeing you, too. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one. Don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages, uh, bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I... The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby, and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so... Here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? The security systems of the bar are top-notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First I hear you were at the bank, then I find out you disappeared? And now you show up with all those bandages? Are you fine? What happened at that bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow... Slow down a bit. The medications make me feel everything more intensely. Almost like a hangover. S sorry It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me, though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank God these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Jill, please. I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. <laughs> nope. I mean, yes. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol, right? <sighs> Coming right up. Wow, damn. Say seems to be in a bit of pain. Let me make sure I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. Perfect. Perfect. 
Uh, make it, let's make it big. Now you want to make it yeah, big. Yeah, for my friend Say, who's been hurt. All right, that's it, right? That's, yeah. That's, that's it. All mix. All right. It's a sugar rush. Careful. Yay! This will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I've jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. Uh. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. Hmm. But what? N nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful? I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am, talking to you. Being able to talk at all. Uh. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Wow, 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 wow. Uh. Uh, um. Uh, how are things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion then the whole thing or when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Eh, um, hey Jill, I want another drink. A, um, um, a Bleeding Jane. Uh, mm. uh. Is, does it have alcohol in it? I think it has a lot of alcohol. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wait, then why would it Why would it matter if we gave her one? Yeah, I think it's probably okay. That's yeah, fine. Well, uh, Jill, what the fuck? I mean, we can't not give it to her. We, we can't we, just exit out of this menu. Uh, but, but because we, uh, because I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, no. In fact. Yeah. Uh, all right, blend that bullshit. Blend it. Oh, that just makes me want a smoothie. We can go have a smoothie after this. <gasps> You'll make me a smoothie, Tony? Well, I mean, we could both make smoothies. You'll make me a smoothie, Tony? <sighs> if you want to find out if I made Mal a smoothie, join us for, well, actually, the next recording session, because we have one more episode to record. <laughs> Two episodes from now. Yeah, but hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. You should also think about checking out our Patreon. It's there in the end card and in the video description. All right, bye, everybody. Bye.